One thing you have to know, the Nazis were brutal and cruel beasts, but stupid they were not. Ten months before World War II broke out on September 1st, 1939, on the night between 8 to 9th of November 38, they have burned in flames and destroyed, as I know, 1,046 synagogues from one side of Germany to the other, in one night. They said it was spontaneously, spontaneously. Over 1,000 synagogues in the same night, from east to west of Germany from north to south Germany, spontaneously. The, the explanation was because a Nazi diplomat in the Nazi embassy in Paris, von Rath, was killed by a Jew, Herschel Grinspan, an immigrant from Poland. His parents, all his family was killed in the Holocaust, before the Holocaust. And expelled from home, he killed von Rath. They said this is a revenge. A revenge for one diplomat, 1,046 synagogues. By the way, they killed 3,000 Jews. And the same night, Jews, Shamashim of Batikneset, people hidden who wanted in their bodies to watch the synagogue that the Torah scrolls will not be burned, and they wanted to watch them. They sacrificed themselves to hold the Bet Knesset, the synagogue, 3,000. And other 30,000 were expelled to the concentration camps, like Dachau, Buchenwald, and the others, before the war. What does it show? It shows to us, Jews, and it shows to the whole world that the Nazis, how smart they were, they knew one thing, that if you want to hurt the Jew, you have to hurt the synagogue to destroy it, to burn the Torah scroll. They understood that the heart of the Jewish people is the synagogue. Our heart is not in any other place but in the synagogues, in the yeshivot, in the uh, Jewish schools, our heritage, our tradition, our Torah, this keeps us as a nation, this keeps us alive. And they understood that if they destroy the shuls, if they cut us away from the Jewish centers, uh, we are neglected. We have no back. So they understood that the start of Holocaust because 1923 already came out the book of Hitler, Mein Kampf, My War. And he said that he is going to liquidate the Jewish people. They are not the human beings at all. He did, said it already in 1923. Ten years later, 1933, he was elected by the German in democracy way to be the chancellor, the ruler of all Germany. East and West at that time, together, 10 years after that book. And six years later, he came with the Kristallnacht, and he wanted also to see what will be the reaction of the nations, of the world. It was a very, very poor reaction. Anti-Semitism, over a thousand shoes in one night, burned, destroyed. What was the reaction? Look at the newspapers of the 10th of November and the 11th of November, 30, uh, 38. Almost no reaction. He saw that he can go further, that he can move further. This is the lesson. Stop it in the beginning. The lesson must be to all the world. If an anti-Semite starts with one step, stop. Because from one step, if you agree with him, if you are quiet, he'll go on and on till the end of Auschwitz-Birkenau and many other concentration and death camps. This is the And for us, the lecture is what he understood 
we Yidin, Jews, must know. This is our heart, the shul, the synagogue, the Jewish tradition. This is our. If we have it, we are, we exist, we survive. God forbids if we lose it, we are lost. And this is. That's why the management of Kristall Nacht, now the Hanhala of Mitzadah Chaim, March of the Living, is asking us one thing. It's a symbol, but a great symbol. In the night of the 9th of November, to lit the electricities in all the synagogues all over the world. Take the whole globe, and in every place in the globe, east, west, south, north, they are synagogues. Make them full of light. And if the light will be in the synagogues, thousands, thousands of synagogues, only in Israel there are about 10,000 places, they will be all lit and in the electricity will shine out. It shows that we are not with, only with the past, not only with remembrance, but with hope for a beautiful, lighting future. Amen.